Today we are going to talk about the coordinate box. Previously we talked about covalent bonds. And the concept of covalent bonding is sharing. Is sharing electrons. And the simplest example that we have is hydrogen. So each hydrogen atom contains one electron at the outermost energy level. So both energy levels fuse together forming a bigger energy level containing two electrons. And these two electrons form the covalent bond between the two hydrogen atoms. While the concept in the coordinate bonding is different, it depends on donating and accepting electrons. What does this mean? It means that an atom donates electrons to an acceptor atom which accepts electrons. In other words, the two electrons are given to an atom with a vacant orbital. And Finally, we have the bond that contains two electrons, but they are not shared by the two atoms, but they are donated from one atom to another atom. Let's have examples. So, um, ammonia. Ammonia molecule. Ammonia is NH3. So, basically, when we talked about methane with the structure of, of CH4, we said that the shape of methane was tetrahedral. It looked like a pyramid. So, these are the hydrogen atoms, if we joined between the edges of the bonds, we will have the shape of a pyramid. And this angle was 109 degrees 0.5, the angle between each two bonds. Now let's have a look at the structure of ammonia. First, Nitrogen, the electronic configuration of nitrogen is N7, okay? So it contains an extra electron more than carbon. So nitrogen contains these orbitals, the 1s, the 2s, and the 2pxy, and pz. So here we have two electrons, two electrons, and... One, one, one. So when hybridization takes place in carbon, actually each orbital in the hybridized new orbital, the sp3 orbital, each orbital contains just one electron. Okay, so there are four uh, semi vacant orbitals one s orbital and three p orbitals. So, four hydrogen atoms can join or can form bonds with uh, each electron, and so the covalent bonding occurs. Now, in nitrogen, we have this orbital which is completely filled with electrons. So, in the hybridization, the sp3 hybridization takes place, we will have the orbitals looking something like that. This is completely filled, and we have three vacant, semi-vacant orbitals. So these are the ones which will form covalent bondings with hydrogen. Well, this one, of course, will not form any bonding because it's, it's energy stable. It contains two electrons. So as expected, we will uh, copy the stereo uh, shape of methane to form that of ammonia. So we will say that 
it can look something like that. So here are the three hydrogen atoms, and these are the two electrons. So these two electrons will not form any bondings, so we will call them a lone pair of electrons. So this lone pair of electrons will cause some change in the stereo structure of ammonia. Now, if we join between the edges of the formed bonds between the hydrogen atoms here, we will have a planar shape. So, it will look something like that, a plane. So, ammonia molecule is a planar molecule, is a planar molecule. While well, methane is tetrahedral, has the shape of a pyramid. This is the difference in structure. Now, what's the role of the lone pair of electrons? As these are electrons having negative charges and they're free, and each bond of these contains also electrons, so they have the similar charge. A little bit of repulsion occurs between the lone pair of electrons and these bonds. So, the angles between the bonds decrease a little bit, instead of being 109.5, they become 107 degrees. Okay? This is the first importance of the lone pair of electrons. The second important is what we are actually talking about today, the coordinate bonding. These two electrons can be donated to any proton. H plus, okay? They can be donated to any proton in order to form a coordinate bond. So, ammonia can combine with an extra hydrogen giving an NH4 molecule which is called the ammonium ion. Okay? This was our first example. Our second example is um, has the same situation, but instead of having just one lone pair of electrons, we have two lone pair of electrons, and this one would be water, H2O. So, we have oxygen, and we have just two hydrogen atoms. Okay, and here we have two lone pairs of electrons, because the electronic configuration of oxygen is O8. So when hybridization takes place, we have two orbitals that um, contain, that are semi-vacant, so we have 1s, 2s, 2px, py, pz. We have here we have two, 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 one, one. So these are completely filled with electrons. They were not four bonds. And these are the ones which combine with hydrogen. So here the lone pair of electrons are more repulsive, of course, because they are two instead of one. So this angle decreases more than ammonia, so it becomes 105 degrees, okay? And one of these two lone pairs of electrons can combine with hydrogen, forming an H3O+. This is called the hydroxonium ion, or the hydronium ion. So, that's all about the coordinate bonding. The next time we will talk about the hydrogen bonding, which actually also takes place between water molecules and other molecules. And we will know the properties of the hydrogen bonds. So until then, I thank you for watching and see you.